on Art Fickelsheet. Blairs can coach or encourage his partner Marconi, but he can't help him out. <laughs> right now, he could use some assistance, or at least he could use some advice. Marconi sure gets a kick out of this, <laughs> right in the chin. Uh-oh, dirty work at the cross eyes. Australian wrestling, they call it. Marconi sure is down under. Our hero's back on the apron of the ring, but I'll bet he wishes it were his mother's apron. Like the month of March, Marconi comes in like a lion, and I ain't a lion. Finkelstein goes down, and Marconi goes out. Don't take it so hard, bud. There's still a spark of life left in your boy. <laughs> or a reasonable facsimile. Finkelstein measuring what it takes to keep Marconi out of the ring. He decides it takes just one foot. Helping him back is like leading a lamb to slaughter. The referee acting as reinforcement. And oh, ho, ho, his aching back which Finkelstein goes to work on to cure with a bit of unlicensed chiropractic. Here's where the relay comes in. According to the rules, the second can take over only when his partner is feet. So, it's change partners and try to make it a grand slam. Enter Finkelstein in the spirit of good, clean fun to add a couple more stamps to Marconi's collection. Lend a helping hand, then slug the guy. That's what I call treachery. An illegal hair pull and shoulder toss, and he's in twice as fresh with a series of flying tackles. Uh-oh, hold the phone, hold the phone. Finkelstein wants to let bygones be bygones, but Marconi figures he's got a drop kick coming, and it's good for a goal. Hey, you know something? We forgot all about Brother Blears, and he's just crazy to get into this brawl. What does he care? His hospitalization's all paid up. Here's how an innocent bystander gets mangled. This guy Marconi takes on friend or foe, and Kovacs gets his neck caught in one of the few legitimate wrestling holes of the match, a full Nelson. Marconi holding, Blears kicking off. The rules permit only two in the ring at a time, but these boys are so impetuous. There must be an easier way to get into the movies. Here's one time when a fellow really needs a friend, but Finkelstein doesn't seem very palsy. After all, you know, he's got his health to consider. Ah, oh, don't worry, partner, you're doing terrific. And if it comes to the worst, Finkelstein will notify your next of kin. That man Blair sure knows some cute tricks with the kicks. Keep up the good work, pal. Bulldoze him into the ropes. Finkelstein knows a real sporting way of tying an opponent up, see? Look out, Finkelstein, here comes Marconi. Things seem to be getting beyond control. Now the referee's got two battles on his hands. From here on, folks, anything goes in or out of the ring. Now, don't get excited, folks. This is all in the spirit of good, clean fun. See? They want to make up and start with a clean slate. Well, one thing you can say about wrestling, it sure develops a keen sense of fair play. This preliminary grappling is just about the only concession they make to the ancient and honorable art of wrestling. Instead of no holes barred, seems to be that all holes are barred. 
Whether it's a sport, though, is open to an argument. But nobody can deny that these characters put on a beautiful bout, and they'd be a good gang to have. That guy, Blears, must have a streak of French in him. La Savant, it's called in Paris. Roughly translated, that means they fight with their feet. Sure, sure, there are written rules in professional wrestling, but who said those guys can read? The headlock is strictly illegal, so's hair pulling, but slugging with the forearm is within the law. thing that wrestling fans can't appreciate is when somebody uses their head like this bit of business called skull cracking. <laughs> See where the dirty work got Finkelstein? Right in the end. And Kovacs in the middle. Seems to me there are a couple of skeptics at the ringside. What these guys put up with for the sake of a fast buck shouldn't happen to a brother-in-law, should it? No believer in law and order, Finkelstein muscles the referee out of the way and cops a sneak punch. This is the original of the term, <laughs> blind staggers. As fight followers say, it's the kind of a treatment that makes gladiators unspay Andre. From out on his feet to more flying kicks than a trapeze performer. What a comeback. It's days in an amazing, that's what it is. Nothing's too rough for your wrestling reporter. That is, so long as I only have to talk about it. Now the referee decides to make everything legitimate when there's not another kick gouge or wallop left. In case you didn't know, Kovacs and Finkelstein are the winners. But win, lose, or draw, it's the goriest action you can get for your dough outside of a ringside seat at an atomic bombing. <laughs> <laughs>